Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm working on some maintenance project in my yard. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I maintain my water fountain time to time without using chemicals. Water features such as water fountains, bird baths are absolutely lovely additions to your yard decor. But then there is the other side of having these lovely features in our yards that is algae buildups. Algae is caused by sunshine and gives you this gross look if you don't maintain your water fountain regularly. I've been busy and I neglected my fountain and let it turn this gross. By the way, you can reduce algae growth drastically if you place your water feature in the shade. I'm also going to replace this base, it's an old shipping container, it's been here for a couple of years and falling apart badly. I made this concrete planter a while back so I'm going to use that instead. First I moved the fountain away from the planted area, it was heavy with water in it but I needed the water to be able to circulate it with vinegar that I was gonna use more water in the back tank and some spider webs I'm going to use a white vinegar I used vinegar before on my garage wall for moss growth and it was pretty successful you can find the link right above here for that video besides vinegar I have a couple of brushes here to help me out to clean the fountain and a pipe cleaner just in case I'm gonna start pouring vinegar I used about half a bottle. I'm gonna turn on the fountain and let the vinegar water solution run through the system. It's a beautiful fountain, one of my favorite features in my yard. I hooked it up to a timer with a remote which makes it so much easier to turn it on and off. And this is the timer. It has different settings and a really cool item. I have two of these. I use them in the front yard and the backyard. So I covered up the fountain with some fabric. I just didn't want birds to drink that vinegar water just in case I don't know what would happen to them. So next day about probably 18 hours later we'll see what happens. Well it's still green but not as intense it looks like it dissolved vinegar dissolved some of the algae but I still see plenty so I'm guessing I should have put more vinegar because I have more water in the back tank which I did not take into consideration when I put the vinegar solution was too diluted I guess I should have just dumped the whole bottle anyways I'm going to clean up the rest with my brushes as you can see top tier is peeling off, the paint is peeling off, so I'm trying to be gentle to it. I can just dump the dirty water now. It smells very vinegary here. I'm going to use an old sponge and a magic razor for a final cleanup. Magic razor did help with some stubborn stains. Pump 
is in good condition I don't have to use a pipe cleaner I'm just gonna wipe it off with my sponge wash it off for the final time nice and clean free of algae before I set it back again I have one more thing to do that is to change the base this is a heavy concrete base I put a link right above here if you want to see how I made this planter Let's see if it's leveled. It needs to be leveled, otherwise fountain doesn't run properly. Looks so much better. I'm gonna have to clean it again one more time at the end of the season before I store it away till the next spring. Thank you for visiting my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!